employees do everything they can to avoid trouble while working. But some, like this bus driver in San Antonio, seem all too willing to tempt fate. Despite controlling an 8,000 pound vehicle in rush hour traffic, and even though he has two handicapped passengers on board, he decides to occupy his time on the road by texting his friends. One lane over, Betty Jo Hummel has just finished her own day on the job. I was just happy to be off work and heading home as I am every day. But after she merges toward her exit, traffic gets caught in a snarl. And the distracted bus driver takes a detour to destruction. With less than one second of braking time, the barreling behemoth obliterates Betty Jo's SUV. It felt like a bomb had gone off in my car. Usually in a wreck, you'll hear screeching brakes. There was no, no noise like that. No brakes. It was just a total bam. I was thinking, oh my God, am I going to die? Her vehicle and the van she's knocked into finally come to a stop. Glass shattering, fumes from the airbags, blindness. I wanted to just get out as quick as possible. A civilian comes to her aid and tells her to hold tight until paramedics arrive. The bad bus driver has no such concerns. He seemed to be looking for that darn phone after the wreck. By the time he finally gets to Betty Jo, cops are already on the way. And it's soon revealed that this isn't the texting troublemaker's first run-in. Come to find out he had had three prior wrecks, three with the same company. But management installed these onboard cameras two weeks ago. A fact the driver seemed to forget. In the police report, he claims that his brakes failed. The next time this derelict picks up his phone, it's to get the call that he's been fired. Because when he was driven to distraction, his next stop was on the road to ruin.